Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, ipagpapatuloy ko lang yung uh, may share ko. This is about the uh, Christ, the, the cross of Christ. Why did Jesus have to die on the cross? Uh, at mulad ng sinabi, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, ipagpapatuloy ko yung pagsishare. Kasi nagluluto ako kanina para mas malinaw din sa inyo. Maganda po kapag ka nakakapag sharing time tayo, meron ko yung Bible. And then madidinig rin yung sinasabi ko at nagbabasa rin kayo ng Biblia. Actually ito ay, uh, this is a, a message from our Lord Jesus Christ. But this message is... Uh, napakinggan ko sa isang mensahe sa isang church na inaatinan ko dito sa Las Vegas and that is very very uh, uh, near to us very uh, close to us the place are close to our place kaya malapit lang yung inaatinan ko na Sunday school dito o oh, Sunday school Sunday service kasi kailangan natin ay uh, magkaroon tayo na personal na Uh, relasyon sa Panginoon, kailangan magkaroon din tayo ng devotion kasi uh, kahit na tayo ay umaatin sa church, <clears throat> kung hindi naman tayo nananalangin mismo sa, sa sarili natin, wala din kasi individual naman talaga dapat tayo <clears throat> na mananalangin kahit na sabi natin na ipanalangin po ninyo ako kasi marami akong problema kahit ipanalangin ka na isang pastor o na isang Uh, kasamahan mo si church hindi ka rin nila matutulungan kung ikaw mismo sa sarili mo hindi ka nananalangin o hindi ka nagbabasa ng Biblia at wala kang sariling personal na relation sa Diyos o wala kang uh, sariling uh, devotion ikaw pa rin sa sarili mo kaya uh, maganda po na nakakapakinig tayo ng mga pangaral ng Panginoon Why did Jesus have to die on the cross? In 1 Corinthians 1.18, it says, The message of the cross is foolish to those who are headed for destruction, but we who are being saved know it is the very power of God. In Romans 3.25, God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. People are made not right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life shedding his blood. You can read uh, the verses in the Bible in 1 Corinthians 1.18 and in Romans 3.25 and also understanding the cross. In order to understand why Jesus died on the cross, we must first understand the Jewish sacrifice sacrificial system of the Old Testament. Uh, that's the story of the Jewish in the Old Testament. Uh, in the book of the uh, here in the Bible, if you read about the story of Jewish, the sacrificial that he made, I can uh, really uh, explain it in Tagalog later on. Important words to know the high priest, the holy of holies, the day of atonement, and the mercy seat. Kung uh, alam niyo yung Passover, uh, tungkol dun sa Passover, <coughs> at saka yung Ark of the Covenant, uh, mababasa niyo yan sa Old Testament. <coughs> okay, in Hebrews 10, 1 to 5. The old system under the law of Moses was only a shadow, a dim preview of the good things to come, not the good things themselves. The sacrifices under that system were repeated again and again, year after year, year and after year, but they were never able to provide perfect cleansing for those who come to worship. If they could have provided perfect cleansing, the sacrifices would have stopped, for the worshippers would have been purified once for all time and their feelings of guilt would have disappeared instead those sacrifices actually reminded them of their sins year after year for it is not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins that is why when christ came into the world he said to god you did not want animal sacrifices or sin offerings but you have given me a body to offer 
Okay, number one. Why did Jesus have to die on the cross? Jesus became both the high priest and the sacrifice that would cover all sins for all times. In Hebrews 7, 27, unlike those other high priests, he, Jesus, does not need to offer offer sacrifices every day they did it they did this for their own sins first and then for the sins of the people but jesus did this once for all when he offered himself as the sacrifice for the people's sin okay and then number two jesus sacrifice allows us to live without guilt in hebrew 10 verse 10 to 18 god's will was for us to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all time under the old covenant the priests stands and ministers before the altar day after day after the same sacrifices again and again which can never take away sins in verse 12 but our high priest offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins good for all times then he sat down in the place of honor at the God's right hand and in verse 30 there he waits until his enemies are humbled and made him Put stool under his feet, for by that one offering he forever made perfect those who are being made holy. And the Holy Spirit also testifies that this is so. For he says, This is the new covenant I will make with my people on that day, says the Lord. I will, I will put my laws in their in their uh, hearts and I will write them on their minds. Then he says, I will never again remember their sins and lawless deeds and when sins have been forgiven, there is no need to offer any more sacrifices. And then number three, why did Jesus have to die on the cross? Jesus' sacrifice allows us to enter God's presence. In Hebrews 10, 9, 22, and so the Brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain into the most holy place. In verse 21, And since we have a great high priest who rules over God's house, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting him for our guilt consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean and our bodies have been washed with pure water okay number four why did jesus have to die on the cross jesus sacrifice gives us the hope of heaven heaven so i can explain all of this to you guys and then in hebrews 10 23 let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we have for God can be trusted to keep to keep his promise that's the four uh, understanding the cross why did Jesus have to die on the cross so remember Jesus became both the high priest and the sacrifice that would cover all sins for all time and number two, Jesus' sacrifice allows us to live without guilt. And then number three, Jesus' sacrifice allows us to enter God's presence. And number four, Jesus' sacrifice gives us the hope of heaven. I hope that you can continue listening my listening to my uh, message or to God's message. And I hope that... I can explain this to you by the help of the Holy Spirit. Uh, thank you for watching again. And next time, I can uh, just share to you what uh, this is all about. Okay, God bless you all. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ito po yung ating tatandaan. Um, always pray to God and keep up uh, the good work. Lagi po tayo uh, mananalangin sa Panginoon. Uh, keep on praying to our Lord Jesus Christ and also uh, work hard and also keep smiling. Lagi po tayong mananalangin sa ating Panginoon at lagi po tayong mag magbabasa ng Biblia. Okay? So work hard, be kind, and stay humble. God bless us all.